How are you guys doing? This is Martin. So you know me from a series on how to pay off your car in 36 months without giving up Starbucks or being cheap. You're probably looking at this. It looks like I'm an angel or something. Right now I'm in Palm Springs, California. I'm headed to the Best Western in Palm Desert to sign up to be a bartender to help out at the BMP tournament. That's like that big tournament at Indian Creek. And it's like back online and back to like it's time to earn that extra money now i'm like keep looking at that my four fifty dollar bills i had on, i've been saving since i made about a thousand dollars working at the breeders cup and the past two months i have done like absolutely not i've worked a couple of overtime shifts i haven't did much but i said i need a new pair of jail cayenos and they cost me about 150 dollars and you know what I don't want to use my money to pay it, so I want to go out there, do some work, earn some tip money, and then get myself a brand new shoes. Like Grant Cardone says, I don't have money. You cannot make money. All you can do is go out, show you have the necessary skills, and get the money. And then after that, you get that how much extra money you make is based on how much money you put into the system and help keep the money circulating. So... Because right now I have like a lot of people, like there's like, um, when I'm in Palm Springs, they make me feel young. They're like in their 60s or 70s. I'm in my 50s. And I, I kind of always date the younger girls too because I like to keep that energy going. Unless you find an older woman who's like, has like a lot of money or something or express or something that just gets you going. I just go for the younger ones because they seem, they just keep getting more mature and more they're just more mature, more strategic with what they're doing. And if you look at some of the older women, like they've just kind of, some people, they've just given up. You know, you're stuck with the husband, three or four kids. Husband's, husband's not going to amount to much. You're, you're living off four, four, four or five credit cards. Kids are crazy. You got a 21-year-old staying at the house, trying to drive a Mercedes. She want, what is it? What does they call it? YOLO. You live only once, but they want to live at home with you or the parent. To YOLO, if you want to truly YOLO, hey, why don't you just have it so they just move out on their own? Today, it's all about just extra money. I'm looking at my pocket, my pockets is getting light, man. I'm on my way to Vegas in six days. I'm Grant Cardone, Kevin Hart, Brian Dawson. He sold like two companies over a billion dollars. I have Elena Cardone, just a woman who used to be an actor who's married to the billionaire. Hey, let, get, learn, I bet you I can learn some secrets from her on how to impress you girls. So, yeah, I'm going to go learn how to, hey, if I'm working with the woman who's helped the guy build a like, good, successful business. Hey, they've been together 15 years. Maybe they can convince me. Hey, Martin, take a break from the clubs and learn how to find you a single woman and build something. So, I want to learn something from her. You know what? I'm paying over five thousand dollars, four thousand dollars for the ticket. I think I spent six hundred and eight dollars for the first class Southwest to be in the first groups, because there's no other first class flights that go to Vegas. So I'm going out of Ontario to Vegas. It's gonna take me about twenty minutes. I spend more time in the bar and forgetting where I put all my luggage and trying to dig up the change that I do. I'm gonna spend on this flight to Vegas. But you're saying, Martin. Why do you always talk about money? Martin, why are you always so down on us just having fun? Well, 125 Macy's stores closed. That means you guys didn't have enough money out there to go to a real store to shop. You you had to go shop on Amazon. You your so, your funds were so low, you could not afford gas to go to the store. You couldn't afford to work on your clean up your wardrobe. You couldn't afford the gas. You're broke. So now I got to deal with a couple of store, 125 store closing. And then 452 Pier 1 import stores closed. You know what that means? That means more people trying to shop online. I have more people driving around in these white trucks, like child molester trucks. You know what? For now on, let's just call all white trucks child molester trucks. I mean, when I was growing up, that's what it was. I'd be like the van you use to kidnap a person or you'd be holding them hostage. Like you'd be like Starsky and Hutch, Kojak. And, you know, you try to have to find the van in time because if not, the van blows up and everyone dies. Or that, or that's the van that the terrorists use. They put all the chemicals in if you were like on oh, criminal intent. 
the no the criminal minds that's that's the one they use they got the the white van is for the chemicals or cis that's what the terrorists use so do you i'm, I'm just i i can't believe 20 years after i'm working in a warehouse all I got, the biggest job creator is a warehouse or people driving around with shit in their car, dropping it off. That's what FedEx are for, man. FedEx was supposed to bring packages to you so you could go out and produce something. But some of you don't know how to produce. Some of you don't know how to sell. So now I got a whole generation of kids who weren't able, like I'm at Starbucks. So luckily I have some people, a good guy like Josh Schultz. Helping out the young people, helping them like learn some skills. I have some people doing other than picking. Yeah, you know, I was picking 20 years, 30 years. I don't know how long. I'm 52. So I believe I worked at Petavina Mode and Die maybe when I was 18 or 19 or something. Then I worked at Disneyland. I can't believe I, I mean, I, I passed by these people wearing vests. I mean, what has happened to my country? You know what happened? Forgot how to sell. People learn how to take the cheapest price. And when you take the cheapest price, you get what you get. So now I got a whole generation of kids. They, they're, they're trying to buy cars and stuff, Mercedes, BMWs, but they live at home. You're only making $14 to $15 an hour. Because if I was Amazon, I'd probably only pay you $10 an hour. I remember back then, I probably made $8.50 an hour. My grandparents said, you better get out there, boy. Find some other jobs, and I ended up working at Disneyland, bringing in some more money. So I'm like, they said, you better lower. I remember the boss telling me, oh, that, that's not in your job description. I wish I would have told that guy, Steve, Steve, this is not in my job description. He said, Martin, you know what the word fired means, brother? It means the same as layoff. Like there was 2,200 people at Macy's who got laid off or fired. You know what that means, Martin? That means I don't have to pay your pay your salary, man. I don't want to. I, I want to help you. You're a good guy. You have a good heart, but you gotta deliver. So it's like, okay, Steve, I'll go do door to door. See, I mean, I do, I've done more in that short time I worked at that place than like all you fulfillment center people. And then some of you are about to get automated out. You know what? You do. You know what? Amazon is getting rid of their logistics. They're about to subcontract all that stuff out. You know why? I really don't know why. Uh, maybe it's just like what I'm thinking is they may not be making as much money as you think. And it, like I told you during the last recession, what caused it was the diesel prices skyrocketed, went up, went up, and all the carriers weren't able to cover their expenses. I think Amazon sees the same thing. They're like, we want we don't want to get caught in a fuel crunch anymore. So let's pass it off to the contractors, give them a set fee, and then hey, they can't cut it, they just get rid of them. Watch that happen. And then you're going to have all these like more child molester vans on the road, people trying to get by. You have maybe one out of maybe 10 or actually succeed and the rest, they'll be like in business for like two or three months and out of business. You say, Martin, what are you rambling on about? Today, I am just rambling on about you need to go out and have as much money as you can. Valentine's Day is over. Where are you roles, people? You are out on the road the 13th and 14th. Why aren't you out there today? This would be the best day to sell roses, especially to all those couples that are breaking up right now. Come on. They're like, oh, God, I think this is over, man. I got to get rid of this fool. He, he's crazy. He, he actually thinks I love him. I just was hanging out for the free dinner. So that's why I'm off to the PMP. I'm going there. I need to give me some money for some new shoes. There's a cute girl here at Starbucks along with the other five or 20 cute girls and the married ones I'm chasing after. Need money, man. You need money. I just need money. Cause even if you're not dating anyone, you need money when you can go in. Hey, get your Starbucks. Get that nice velvet cake, man. Hey, maybe you don't want to go to Target. What's over here? Target's behind me. Maybe you don't feel like going to Target's. Maybe you don't feel like going to Audi. You want to go to a real place where they bag your groceries or you're not around people with Mercedes and Beamers and Audis who, who are shopping. And my tea, you would be embarrassed to drive a Mercedes or an Audi and park in front of a Target. They think you're crazy. But you know what? People ain't got no money. All they got is their car, man. All these people got is their car. They ain't got nothing else. Kids fucked up. Marriage is shitty. Wife is probably cheating on them. Husband's cheating on the wife. But the per partner's so stupid, they don't know, they, 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 they don't want to go. Or you don't want to get rid of them because they'll take more money you don't got, so you're stuck. So, 
Don't let that happen to you, man. Just make sure you have enough money. If things don't work out and you decide to shack up with someone, you can say, you know what, honey, I'll pay all the bills. Don't have to sign the lease. If it doesn't work out, you get out or hell, I'll just let the lease in. We'll both be homeless. Then I'll recover and get the get myself a new place. If you want to shack up, do it like that. Like I told you, 47% of couples are getting divorced in seven years. 50-something percent are separated after five. So don't, don't get caught up in all this stuff. Everyone looks like they're lovey-dovey. No. They're two steps from blowing each other's brains out. The police are probably visiting. And it's just like, you know what? That happens when you don't have any money and you live a life of credit. You only need to use credit when you want to invest. That's what the businesses do. What broke people do? Buy expensive cars, buy expensive phones, take trips, trip, 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 trips like the La Quinta, be taking trips, staying La Quinta Inn, Best Western, free breakfast. What kind of trip is that, man? Stand, I'm going to stay in Mandalay Bay, best hotel in Vegas, I guess. I'll find out, I'll report back. But what I'm trying to say is you got to invest in yourself. You got to invest money to make money. Just like Schultz here. Look at him with Starbucks. First, he started with coffee. Then he went to teas. Hey, then he bought a whole company. Now, he was making bakery stuff. And he said, you know what? I, I just can't do it as good as this company. He bought the company. And after a while, you know what he did? He laid off those people at the company. Because you know what? Once you own, once you, when you don't want to pay the gold, you set the rules. That's why I want you to have money. Because the more gold you have, the less shit you have to eat. That's the theme of the day. Think about that. More, more. You don't have to be desperate at work. It's like if I get fired, I get fired. Or you do the stuff, but you don't have to like worry about the stuff, man. That's basically all money is. Money is just a cushion to like reduce the amount of bullshit you gotta go through. That's it. And the more money you have, the good, more good looking the girl. More money you have, the more patient the kids, because they know you're there to back them up. So as I head out to the BMP terminal, I'll probably make about extra four or five, maybe $600, I think. I'm only going to work the weekend shift. But it's all about, today is just all about, hey, do you have enough money to eat shit? You don't have to eat shit anyway, like Grant says. But do you have enough? Do you have enough money to eat the shit of getting rid of your partner? Do you have money enough money to eat the shit of dealing with crazy co-workers and just taking a day off just to recharge? Or do you have enough money? Hey, I'm living in an apartment. I got a barking dog across from me. I got a barking dog next to me. I got a husband who has two kids that drives an Audi, living in a two-bedroom house for five people who plays video games. Do I have enough money to eat shit, eat that security deposit, and find myself a quality place for me and the girl I'm dating? That's why you need money. You need money. So you don't have to eat shit. Think about that. Just send comments. Subscribe. Like. Let me know. Think I'm crazy? Share it, man. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe some people maybe shit is good, man. But shit tastes more better when you got money.